Good morning everybody. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do it right now and click that like button if you like the video. I'm whispering because it's quarter past three right now. I'm up getting ready for work. Um, a lot of the guys in the dairy industry are already at work. And most of you guys are lying in your beds. Today we're going to look at over trimming cows feet. How to avoid it and what you should do when you do it. Because I'm guaranteeing almost everybody who has trimmed a foot has a worth trimming one at some point. Enjoy the video guys. First up, why bother getting up at this time of the morning? Why do I just go to work after the cows have been milked and while they're standing there waiting for me? Well, the main reason is I don't want the cows standing there waiting for so long. Cows waiting, cows standing up is not good for the cows. So I get there just as they start milking, shed the cows off to me as they're milking so that they get trimmed and they go straight back to their beds. Wish I could do the same. So it's 4 a.m. I've just arrived on site. Um, cows are stood waiting for me up the back there. Now all I gotta do is get set up. Unloaded. Can you see me in this light? I'm gonna look better in the dark. Okay, so I've turned a couple of cows here and Put one in, it's just in for a routine trim, so what we're going to do is trim it up like normal and show you what would happen if you over trimmed. So here obviously is the foot before we trim it. Okay, so obviously it's turned out that it's not a routine trim. She had a double sole here, which we've removed. So we've made the weight level and then we saw the double sole, so we've removed it. We've started the model. And now we're gonna finish it up with a knife. I love using knives, sharp knives. It's so satisfying. Get rid of all that loose horn around there. You're lucky I don't sing in these videos actually, because I normally... I'm pretty much always singing. There we have it. Oh well, next one.
Well, obviously this is a front foot on this car, a front left foot and um, she is just in for a routine trim and obviously you can see there's a little bit of loose horn here, a small crack here but we're trying to get the weight onto this lateral claw here on the front foot so that's fine. If we take any of that away then all we're going to have to do is take even more off of here to try and get that weight even between the two claws and she's not lame at all so it's definitely not causing any problems. This will just wear away in a nice flat surface. As you can see then I've trimmed these claws to the correct length and I've done a nice wide model. I've done, I've actually had to come slightly closer to the toe here than I normally would because there was a crack here and with it being the dominant claw I want to make sure that that crack doesn't materialize into anything that's going to be seriously seriously sore for the cow in the future. Right so first up this claw sits at a funny angle because of my front foot block so please try to ignore that. It is trimmed completely flat and to the right length as you can see there. So what happens when you over trim? What is over trimming? So the sole of the foot is only around five to seven millimeters thick, more, more likely five around about here, seven at the toe. So obviously if you take too much horn away from the toe, away from the heel, away from the middle area, then you're gonna expose the corium. So the internal anatomy of the foot can be exposed to the outside elements. Obviously that is not ideal, it's not what we're trying to do and it's counterproductive. So how do you avoid doing it? Well, first up, the dorsal wall from here to here, as measured out, out by Tucson Raven, should be 75 millimeters. Um, there's some debates about that. I trim to the cow, so if it's a big cow, I'll trim her to 85 millimeters. Medium cow, about 80. Smaller cow, so a standard Frisian, probably 75 millimeters. And we're measuring from the hair bands where, so where the horn starts to grow on the this front wall down to the toe, which should be 75 millimeters in a small Frisian cow. Large Holstein should be about 85 millimeters and five to seven millimeters thick on the toe. And angle it back so that this claw is about the same angle as this claw, provided the length and the depth of the toe is correct on this one. So if you do that, you shouldn't over trim. But there are instances when me, other trimmers, you guys watching, have over trimmed. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm perfect, because I'm definitely not. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. Um, although she is perfect. <laughs> so what is over trimming gonna look like? So if you take too much off here, this white line here is what connects this horn, so the wall horn, to the sole horn. The white line is the weak point, so that is where you're going to first see the over trimming. If, if, as long as you're over trimming flat, what's going to happen is this white line here will start to protrude, protrude, that's easy for me to say, it'll start to protrude, in other words it'll start to push out very slightly because the pressure from the inside of the cow, so the pressure from the pedal bone, from the corium, from the 
fat pads so the digital cushion in there that's making everything nice and soft and squidgy every time the cow stands it's going to be pushing out so if you start to over trim but you haven't drawn blood you can tell straight away there will be a very slight extrusion of the white line round here now it might not look like a problem at the time but i can guarantee you there's just maybe 80 kilograms or so on this one digit 80 here 80 here so when there's 80 kilograms standing on half a millimeter of horn there's going to be a problem that arises from it also you'll see over trimming you actually will draw blood right round usually it's going to happen here on the toe area and um, it can happen because the cow's abnormal it can happen because you're not concentrating the cow might kick and um, you might just not know what you're doing so if it does happen what do we do so like i say you can see blood can start to appear around this white line or anywhere on the sole really but it's more prominent and more likely to happen in this white line area here if you trim the toes too short there can be a drop of blood out at the end so if it's a large cow and you've trimmed to, 85 mil, uh, to 75 millimeters you might get a drop of blood on the toe you see guys running the grinder off in between um, routinely sometimes i'll do it if there's a need for it but not routinely at all but you do see guys doing it and if they draw blood in here or thin out this wall here so that's the axial wall if they trim out and thin out this axial wall too much then there can be a drop of blood in there or there can be again an extrusion of the white line in here which is going to cause problems so what does it mean for the cow well if you over trim here 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 or even up here the cow is going to be lame there's no doubt about it whatsoever um, I've done it in the past and when it happens literally my heart skips a beat it feels terrible it's horrible horrible feeling when I say it happens I say maybe two or three times a year out of about 14,000 cows so um, again it could be abnormal as the cow might move and um, there's all different, different things that can come into it so what do you do you've, you've trimmed this cow you've over trimmed it and uh, she's going to be lame. So what do you do? You put a block on. Every single time this happens or you think that it might have happened, you put a block on the opposite claw. Even if there's no blood, so if there's an extrusion of that white line, if there's too much flex in this horn here or up here, trim off this slightly just so that it's clean enough to apply a block. Usually a wooden one because the wooden ones will obviously wear out after sort of four or five weeks and it'll have allow this horn to regrow. She might still go lame, so you're gonna have to keep a good close eye on her. But what you do is you stop trimming immediately and you apply a block to the opposite claw. And she should be good to go. There shouldn't be a massive issue with it. Um, the horn should thicken up. Just keep an eye on her and she should be all right. So what happens if you over trim here? So we go on about modeling. So modeling is when we take out the interior portion of the horn here to try and alleviate that inside bone, the pedal bone in here, coffin bone, P3, whatever you want to call it. We're doing the model to alleviate the pressure from that. But what happens if you nick in here or up here or in here with your knife if you've gone slightly too deep? Well, it's not good. Your heart's going to skip a beat or it should do if you care. I know mine, mine does if it ever happens to me. Um, but what does it mean for the cows? What's the ramifications for her? Not that much really. As long as you've modelled it out here, as long as the weight bearing is evenly distributed between the two claws, you should be okay. It shouldn't be a huge deal. Again, block the other claw and she should be totally fine within a, probably two days or so. Again, obviously treat it with iodine because it will harden up and dry up the problem that you've created. So a trend of over trimming. How do you know if your foot trimmer or you yourself are over trimming if you don't see it happen at the time? Well, it's really obvious. What's gonna happen is this white line here, so the white line goes all the way around here. It comes down to the toe, back up here, and it finishes up around here. What's gonna happen is on the dominant claw, so on the front, it's gonna be the inside claw. On the back, it's gonna be the outside claw you're gonna see a separation in the white line. And that separation is usually gonna start around here. It's gonna come down to about here and up to here. Now underneath that separation, so it'll peel back, there will usually be um, some sort of moisture or liquid and there'll be a slight double sole in around here. And she will be very lame because any sort of lameness problem in this third of the foot is really, really apparent. It's really sore for the cows. They cannot hide from it whatsoever. So it's gonna be really apparent. 
what you do is you put your knife in behind it, trim away all that excess um, overgrowth, so the double sole, you're gonna take all of that away, make sure there's no loose horn whatsoever, and apply a block. I know I go on about applying blocks, but applying a block saves a cow's life. Not more often than not, but a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, if you're picking up feet that have been trimmed within the last couple of months and you're seeing this split right down this white line, then there's over trimming or there's over wear happening somehow. So if you've got fresh concrete, it can happen. If you've got an overzealous hoof trimmer, it can happen. Um, if the cows are outside on tracks and it's been raining a lot, so washing away the silt from between those rocks, over wear is a big problem. If you see a trend in your cows over wearing um, and you know it's not from hoof trimming, you do get wear guards. So they're like little thin tiny blocks that you can apply that you can apply and you would apply them to both claws to stop the wear and allow the horn to regrow over a month or so. Anyway, onwards to the next cow. Here's quite a good one. So this cow was actually in two months ago. She had a block on and a severe white line abscess. You can see where it's been trimmed away there quite clearly. So let's trim her up and see how she's going now. I used the grinder to take away the bulk of the material to clean up around here and now I'm going to use the knife to do the modelling out and then we'll deal with the lesion. The reason I know she had a block on and that it was about two months ago was my computer tells me. So I can see a slight darkening up here, which means that this is slightly underrun here. So we're gonna put the edge of the knife in there and turn round in an anti-clockwise motion because that'll give us lots of leverage to take away that part of the wall horn. You see? taken that bit out but I can see it's still traveling up here so we'll do the same again and again it's starting to fade out but I can still see there's a slight darkening in the horn which means that it's still under run which is now we're just going to be very careful and take away this ragged and loose horn Funny, right now this knife feels really, really sharp, and then sometimes I'll play it back and I think, geez, oh, that knife looks blunt. I can assure you, it is sharp, and they're always pretty much sharp. Okay, we're getting close to it now, so we need to be extremely careful not to sort of take any of the good work we've done backwards. But there is still this on here, so you can put the hook of the knife underneath it. So. I'm gonna go clockwise this time and turn and pull away. Turn and pull away. And turn and pull away. Mm. 
compared, there's still some of this horn here. This is really hard to cut, so I'm going to thin it out with the grinder and go back in it, into it with a knife in a second. See, now it'll be much easier to take away again. You don't want to be pushing too hard with a knife, not because of laziness, but because when you're pushing really hard, you start to lose the finesse. Now there's a tiny, tiny little bit of blood starting to form there. It's not a big deal, but it just lets us know that we can't go any further than that. And that, pretty much looking good. She won't need a block on this now because there's enough weight off that area. We'll just reduce the height of this a little bit to give her a little more rest. That is how you do that. So as you saw there, it's been a fairly extreme first um, trim on this cow. She had a block two months ago, the blocks had a fallen off or it's completely worn out, but the lesion has nearly healed. This trim will have sorted her out completely and I shouldn't see this cow again until she needs routine trimmed again. avoid over trimming stick to the constraints that are previously set out so 75 millimeters in the dorsal wall so where the horn actually starts growing to the tip of the toe and um, if it's a smaller cow if it's a larger sort of more extreme Holstein then it should be around 85 millimeters um, so trim according to the cow make sure there's a five to seven millimeter step in the end of the toe and you shouldn't over trim but on the occasion when you do over trim make sure you stop immediately so don't trim anymore thinking oh well, i can take weight off that area or whatever it's very unlikely that you can just clean up the other claw that you haven't over trimmed or hopefully haven't apply a block and revisit the cow around two weeks later and she should be totally fine she should be good to go but if you don't apply that block there's going to be serious ramifications for that cow and she's going to get more and more lame um, not within the next day or so, but definitely within a week or two weeks. If you don't have access to blocks or something like that, put her in a deep bedded straw pen or a deep bedded sawdust pen and it should get some of the weight off there. And just keep checking that um, claw. If there's any sign of lameness whatsoever, pick it up because you might be able to take away that double layer of horn that's maybe started to develop, so double sole. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been um, reasonably educational. Give me a like, give me some uh, feedback, tell me what you think.